Hey guys, so no idea if anyone's gonna even find this remotely interesting, but figured I would give it a try. Um, your girl's gonna try a vlog. So, oh no, vlogging by a cop. <laughs> parked we're good did not get pulled over but you know safety first don't vlog and drive we're off to a roaring start um anyways i figured maybe some people might find this relatively interesting maybe not we'll see so um today is let's see it's tuesday it's about 5 30 just getting home from work um short work week four days so it's you know great um, let's see, anything else interesting? Not really, gonna make dinner tonight. Um, Kyle and I are working out. Um, we do Home Fit, which is this at-home trainer thing here in Birmingham. It's amazing, highly recommend. Um, we do that two times a week. If we didn't, I truly don't think I would go to the gym, literally ever, so. Holds me accountable having someone there, which is really great. Um, but other than that, got a big fat nothing to report, so we'll see how this week goes. Okay, so for work today, I just wore, this is a Zara turtleneck, and then the sweater is actually Zara also. Um, it just ties over to the side. These jeans are Madewell, and then the sneaks are actually Steve Madden, I believe. They kind of look similar to the Alexander McQueen sneakers, so. Yeah, oh, and then I paired it with this um, padded velvet headband also. So. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Wednesday. Seems like this week's kind of flying by, which I'm a big fan of. Um, we, we, me, I am headed to work. Gonna pick up some Starbucks on the way because I'm a few minutes early. Haven't gotten it this week. Craving it. Um, Kyle got us these Ember mugs, which I've always seen and wanted, but I've never bought because I was like, eh, that's so silly. It's worth it. If you work in an office and you drink coffee and you get distracted and you forget about said coffee, and then you have to keep microwaving it, and that's disgusting. Get these Ember mugs. They're insane. Um, they keep your coffee warm. I think the battery time's probably like two hours, but I mean, like, you don't want two hour old coffee anyways. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so Kyle and I just got back from Publix, got a bunch of random stuff, so I figured I would show you. Um, first thing first, tonight we're gonna make um, gyros. So this is from Trader Joe's. It's just the um, pre-sliced meat that they have and you just heat it up. It's really, really good and super easy. So I went and got um, some naan bread to go with that tzatziki. Um, feta and then um, we didn't have any lettuce at home so we're just gonna do some arugula and spinach and then let's see we also got some onions and then on the side I just got one of these steam in a bag um, veggies and they're already pre-seasoned you just throw them in the microwave um, although I'll probably put them on a pan and do them in the oven um, just because I like them roasted better than steamed then I picked up some of this pasta. I've really been craving pasta lately, so I got this protein pasta, um, some lemons for some lemon water in the morning. Um, let's see. Then I'm really trying to be a little healthier. So I can't get on this juice train fully, so I figured I would try this one. This is Suja Organic Cold Pressed. This is the Noon Greens. And then I have the worst sweet tooth in the entire world, so 
I figured I would maybe get something that was a bit healthier for at night. This is um, a chocolate brownie plant-based keto shake. So, um, and then let's see, some body wash. This is Myers Clean Day. Oh, will it focus? Maybe not. No, okay. It's Myers Clean Day. The scent is rainwater. And then just grabbed a couple of pairs of eyelashes because I didn't have time to get a fill before my trip. These are Ardell 110s. And they are, I like them because they're natural. They don't look fake or anything. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Okay, so it doesn't look beautiful, but this is what I'm eating for dinner. It's a little bit of protein pasta and then some chicken parmesan bites. So yeah, delish, ready to eat up. Hi guys, so it is Friday night and I just took a bunch of stuff to Plato's closet. So naturally I went to kill some time at Ulta while I was waiting for my stuff. And I figured I would show y'all what I picked up. Um, first thing first, I started with a couple of brushes. This is just an e.l.f. brush. It's the eyeshadow C brush. And it has that kind of arched top and it's thicker bristles. So I think it's gonna be really great for a nose contour. That's what I picked it up for. And the next is a Morphe brush. This is the M173. I think they call it the Chubby Buffer Brush. And I'm planning on using this for concealer. Um, if I'm trying to spot conceal and maybe not use a beauty blender because beauty blenders tend to soak up a lot of the product So I want to try and use more brushes versus the beauty blender um, Next I grabbed the morphe continuous setting mist. This is tried and true. It's great um, I had one and then for some reason I decided to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills dewy skin Which looks great, but I don't necessarily know that it works all that well um, however, this one works really well and it has, like it says, a very continuous spray, so it gives a nice even coating. Next, um, I grabbed, this is the IGK Beach Club. It's a volumizing texture spray. Um, I, oh, will focus? Yeah. Okay, I recently took my extensions out, so I'm feeling a little self-conscious about the lack of volume in my hair. Um, so I'm on the hunt for some good products. Um, this is one that came highly recommended. Again, it's a volume texture spray, and I just got the mini version um, instead of the big guy, just so I could test it out and see what I thought about it. Ma'am. I'm sorry, the dogs have been put up because they were eating, and now they went out. Next, I grabbed this. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in Universal Sheer. I have been on the hunt for a new primer. I like kind of like a silicone smoothing primer. Um, I really would like to try the Tarte one, but it's like 40 bucks. So I figured I would give this one a try. A lot of people say it's a dupe. Um, it's just a putty type consistency, so I think it'll probably be about the same thing, but I'll let y'all know. Then, last two things, I just got another color of the Tarte Shape Tape. This is just the mini, which honestly, I think all I would ever buy is the minis because you use so little of the Tarte Shape Tape that it doesn't really make sense to buy the full one. Um, and this is just in the color Light Neutral. And then I got the You're So Jelly highlighter from Gilded, or no, from Too Faced, and the color is Gilded Champagne. Um, I was watching an Olivia Jade video, and she used it, and it was insane. So, you open it, and it is like, like it says, it's jelly. Like, it's a liquid consistency. And then, I mean, I'm just like barely touching it. And you can see, A, how much product comes off on your hands, but also, B, how pigmented it is. So I'm gonna swatch it real quick. <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. You'll never run out of this stuff. That's what it looks like on the hand. Super shiny, super pretty, and it's really lightweight, so it's gonna be super workable, very easy to blend, all of that good stuff. And I think, yeah, that is that, that's it. So, um, if you were to get one thing from this haul, I would say 
Whoa! I messed it up. Not really, but kind of gross. Anyways, if you were to get one thing from this haul, I would say definitely get the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. It's maybe $9 and tried true, perfect, best setting mist I've used. Otherwise, everything else is kind of a new for me, so I'll report back. All right, I'm back and I'm packing, so I figured I would kind of show you guys how I pack for a trip. I'm gonna be gone for a week, so I'm taking a big suitcase. Um, I bought these packing cubes on Amazon about a year ago, and they saved my life. I pack, you know, all sweaters in one, um, pajamas and workout clothes in one. I think that one has tops. And then all of my liquid products I put in one plastic bag just to be safe. We've got my curling stick, my blowout blow dryer, my buzzer, which I cannot go anywhere without. Um, this is my makeup bag, which I like these kind because you can just hook them onto, um, you know, the little towel ring when you get into the hotel. So that is nice. Then on the other side, it's pretty much empty. We have jeans. I'm waiting for another pair in the dryer. Um, I'll put some shoes over there. I haven't packed my shoes yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, that is it. I'm going to take a tote bag with my makeup in it. Um, just because this is a hard-sided suitcase, so it already kind of weighs a lot, and I don't really want to cut it super close. So I put my makeup, and then I take this tote so I can put anything else I might need to at security. And then this is my backpack that I take for work. It was actually handed me down from my dad. Um, it is a encased backpack, and it has a spot for your laptop, um, a spot for personal bloggings, which I always put my jewelry in my backpack. I never check it, um, just in case, you know, something might get stolen. But otherwise, that's about it. I'll show you the planning that goes in to when I pack. It's truly crazy. I break it down by day. I have what I'm going to do each day. And then I have the temperature, the high, and the low. So, you know, kind of got it down to a science. But, what can I say? Ma'am. Hey guys, so this is actually about a week later. Um, I was putting everything together and then I realized that the outro I filmed had no sound. So, like I said, off to a great start, the first vlog. But um, if you've made it this far, thank you, honestly. I should Venmo you like $10, Venmo request me because thank you. I am shocked that you're still here. Um, I am in San Diego for this week for work and I'm filming another vlog. So that will go up probably in another week. So yeah, I hope y'all liked this. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever they say. Thanks and see y'all later.